Hey, have you heard what the Brits did? Back in April 2018, they decided to wage war on sugar by introducing a sugar tax. Yes, you heard that right. A tax specifically designed to tackle the sweet menace lurking in our drinks. And guess what? It worked. So, what was the game plan? Put a tax on sweetened drinks to get manufacturers to cut down on the sugar. Simple, but effective. And the results? Well, they're in, and sugar consumption in the UK among kids and adults has plummeted. We're talking a drop by half for the kiddos and a third for the grown-ups. Who knew a little tax could do so much? Now, let's dive into the juicy details. This isn't just about fewer sugar highs. This is a full-on lifestyle change. In the first year alone, children were sipping on drinks with about 4.8 g less sugar daily, and adults cut down by a whopping 10.9 g. By the end of the study, everyone was consuming way less sugar. The researchers, led by Dr. Nina Rogers, were like detectives linking the dots between the sugar tax and our shrinking sugar intake. But why stop at drinks? With the UK shelling out nearly £6 billion a year on obesity-related issues, thanks, sugary drinks, some folks are thinking, hey, why not expand this tax to other sweet culprits like breakfast cereals? Eddie Crouch from the British Dental Association is all in, calling it a no-brainer for prevention-focused governance. In the UK government? They're not stopping at sugar. They're gearing up to tackle junk food ads next. Because when it comes to health, it's all hands on deck. Curious about who else is on the sugar tax bandwagon? Well, it's not just a UK thing. France, Hungary, Finland, and even Norway, who've been doing this since 1922, can you believe it? Are in on the action. So, what do you think? Is it time to say goodbye to those sugary sweet drinks and hello to a healthier lifestyle? The Brits are onto something, and it might just be worth a shot elsewhere. Cheers to that. Just hold the sugar.